my name is Ainsley from Fairy Tale Vibes, and today we are reviewing and unboxing Fancy Laguna. Now, this Laguna doll is a collaboration between Monster High and Entertainment Earth, and she is actually the very first G3 Laguna doll that I'm going to be owning and opening myself, of course. And I'm just really excited. I love the long blonde hair. I love the mermaid vibes. If you guys know anything about me, you can literally see one of my mermaid pictures back there. I love mermaid vibes. I actually don't like fish, but I love mermaids. Um, so yeah, I really like this outfit. I like the darker vibes. It reminds me a lot of um, of Serena Von Boo. Now, Serena Von Boo was actually the last Monster High doll from G1 that I got in stores. If you guys don't know, when I was younger, like around middle school, I kind of took a break from like collecting Monster High or anything like that. But I wasn't even really collecting Monster High at the time, but I literally just saw a review of Serena Von Boo and I was like I love these like darker mermaid ghost vibes so I snatched her up even though I wasn't even collecting monster high dolls at the time um so yeah needless to say this whole darker ocean vibe really caught me I'm also not typically someone who likes when the dolls divulge from their color scheme like when they kind of go into like more brighter darker tones but this doll really did it correct. In fact, a lot of the dolls in G3, when they kind of go off of their color scheme and dabble into more like weird colors, I actually find I like it a lot in G3. I didn't really like when they did that in G1 or G2, but for G3, the designers are really on top of it. And like, even though I'm like, this is um, typically for Laguna, I'd be like, this is weird. This is like hot pink and like bright yellow. Like this doesn't go with Laguna. But like with the overall color scheme, the G3 designers have been able to like make it work. And I really applaud them for that. Like the color scheme is giving me kind of the vibes of Spring and Sprung from Ever After High, which again, Spring and Sprung is like a line that I was really surprised that I liked because I typically don't like when dolls incorporate like weird or different colors. I just like when they stick to their color schemes, but I actually really ended up liking Spring and Sprung. And I feel like how this doll's colors are toned and drawn together i feel like reminds me a lot of the vibes from spring on spring of course this is under the sea but um anyway i'm gonna get her out of the box i i i am so excited um also if you want to keep her in the box which i mean she is kind of a more collector doll she's not like high-end collector but she is like a special edition if you do want to keep her in the box the box is really nice like this is very open so you can see her very well i probably will save the box and like she has like this whole under the sea backdrop i'm wondering when i take her out of the box if it's gonna feel as magical just because she doesn't have like this whole ocean behind her anymore but i do really want to unbox her i'm not also not an inbox collector i literally don't have space anywhere for this huge box um but yeah so right now i'm trying to unbox her and typically with the mattel dolls i don't have a lot of problem uh, problems unboxing them but I will say I already have kind of ripped the box a little. With this doll, I do think it is kind of harder to get her out of the box without ripping it. Like I'm literally like stuck like this, like right now, like I can't get it to go up or down. So I'm gonna keep fiddling with this to try to damage the box as minimally as possible, but I'm gonna try to get her out. <laughs> so I was able to get her out of the box, but as you can see, I did rip this it is really hard but before i take her out of this i did want to show you just like what she looks like like without the glare of the box obviously because i feel like this is a really cute backdrop i don't know what i'm gonna do with it because i don't have room again to display her with like this whole backdrop but i am probably gonna save it at least for now so i'm gonna go ahead and cut like the rest of the things that are holding her in but oh my gosh she just she looks so stunning okay let's get into it okay now i did get laguna unboxed but first i want to show you the stand and i was like oh this is a really nice stand like i like how this is like colored like it really matches like her vibe and then this is like a little bit more clear than normal and then i realized g3 don't even typically come with stands so i'm very very happy that they included this since she is like a higher quality doll um so let's start with her and let's do the head to toe review the 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 <laughs> the headband it's like black but it's giving me like bubble vibes and i really like how immediately like if you're just looking at her face like her earrings which are black seahorses they really complement this headband i really like it so now let's talk about her hair the hair i i absolutely love the layering like i don't know it's just giving me like such like mermaid vibes and i love that it's like kind of like crimped and long and the little braid in the front is really cute i literally just took her out of the box so it's still like kind of attached to her arm the braid 
but yeah I love the braid I'm probably gonna keep it attached to the arm just so it stays in front until at least until that elastic breaks and then the makeup well first of all her freckles are very cute and then like these kind of like scale things up here and then her actual makeup like it looks like so much like an actual makeup look like a beauty guru would do if they're doing like an under the sea vibe and it really like complements all the colors in her dress like all the out all the colors throughout the outfit I think work because they all complement back to the dress and so there's like yellow teal and purple and then there's even like some highlight underneath the eye and then the lips are gold which again complements the gold jewelry jewelry I feel like all the gold jewelry it kind of looks like she could have just like taken it out of a shipwreck like you know she's like Ariel finding lost treasure and then there's like again these little like details but they all call back to the details in the dress and then she has these sunglasses. These sunglasses are probably my least favorite part of the outfit. I don't really care about the sunglasses, but they do look like starfish. So it doesn't look like she just randomly pulled sunglasses. It looks like she actually got them from under the sea. And then she has this ring that kind of looks like a scale. And then she has her little scales on her arms. And then this one actually kind of looks like an amulet. So what I was what I was saying with like getting stuff from like a ship rag, like this is totally something I could see like finding in a ship rag. It looks very nautical. This is jellyfish very very cute like I love the gradient it actually the colors actually remind me of Stella from Wings Club that's like a random thought but I used to have a Stella doll and then I sold it um and then I like like the shape of the dress I like like how the sleeves are more flowy it kind of almost feels Grecian up here with like this cutout and then moving down the dress I love the metallicness I love like this is so beautiful it looks so under the sea oh my gosh and it has like this jellyfish pattern and like they almost look like they're glowing and it like really gives me mermaid eyes like this is like totally fabric you could use like to make a mermaid tail or something it looks so pretty and like i said before i think the reason all like the weird colors work is because all the little details complement back to the dress and the dress pulls it all together like it's kind of like this like underwater scene like her literal dress and her design feels like she just like like is just like in like the sea like she is she is the ocean and she's like swallowing a shipwreck or something. I don't even know how to explain it. And then underneath like this part of the dress, we have these little like, like little thread, not threads, you know, like little loose pieces of fabric coming out, like little rip things. And it just almost looks like, you know, like an undercurrent sweeping through, like again, very nautical, very oceanic. And then we get down to the legs and I think like this fabric and how it's coming out really, really complements the legs so well because the legs do do a gradient to blue and they almost match this blue and then she has her fins and they are staying in very well it looks like they might come out i haven't messed with g3 laguna fins at all i know g1 laguna fins at least the ones i had fell out all the time but these seem to be pretty good the shoes just complement back up to everything up here so like this gold is kind of the same as this gold but then the heel is the starfish which is the same as the star or not the starfish the seahorse is the same as the seahorse earrings so i feel like the shoes do a really good job at balancing out the outfit and this black down here calls all the way back to the black up here um and then one thing i do want to say about the shoes well i love the detail first of all because we barely get this deep like this amount of detail anymore i mean actually g3 has been really stepping it up so sometimes we do but i just mean i really like when she, when the shoes go out go all out so another thing do you see how this is like kind of rubbery i did not expect the shoes to feel like this they're almost rubbery like this is harder and i thought they would be like the same plastic as this they're softer like they're more rubbery which i actually think is good because i feel like if they were the same plastic as this they would definitely break <laughs> because if you're brittle and you're taking the shoes on and off or you're just moving her feet around but yeah they look so nice i like how they're almost platforms or they are platforms they're like so tall they're so cool i'm like really impressed with this doll as you can see oh one thing i will say i just realized this she has a bald spot i don't know how i didn't realize this before do you see that that is it may just be oh it may just be that her part is messed up um she actually doesn't i just realized she doesn't come with a brush which is actually kind of sad because like her hair is so long like i want to brush this but i i guess i kind of get it if she's a collector doll people aren't really going to be brushing her hair uh 
like for me it doesn't really bother me when dolls don't come with brushes because i have so many doll brushes but for somebody who's like a kid or like a new collector i think it is nice to include the brushes yeah her part line is just kind of not being where it's supposed to be like when i did it better it covers up the bald spot but i would say just feedback from mattel um maybe just like because the part line's not really staying where it's supposed to be maybe just root the doll's hair a little more densely up here and this could just be a defect with mine um but yeah like there wasn't like any like roots or anything there like where it was showing the bald spot so like maybe root it more and now it does cover the purple up a little bit more which kind of makes more sense um because like this is supposed to be like a little underneath peekaboo um but yeah just like feedback from Mattel maybe try like there's something weird going on up here like there's plenty of hair in this doll's head as you can see but for some reason it just wasn't rooted a lot here but you could clearly see that there was a little bald spot from the back i kind of fixed it now but just a note from mattel so i wanted to show you guys what she looked like on the stand but actually when i put her on the stand it kind of messed up her dress do you see that like it pushed the dress forward and actually i think this is a g1 stand because i was looking at that and i was like that seems kind of small now i will say laguna is for for out of all the g3 dolls she's definitely not the most like curvy like she's not the most curvy so she does have a skinnier waist i don't know if it's as skinny as the g1 waist which is why i'm kind of questioning because this looks so small like i mean it definitely works but i'm kind of like struggling to put the stand on without like messing up her dress completely like do you do you see that so that is another note from mattel i feel like they literally just used like the g1 stand mold i mean i could be wrong i could be wrong i could be entirely wrong um and i do actually have this problem i know with some of my ever after high dolls like every time i put apple's stand on her stand does this so it's, it doesn't necessarily always have to correlate with like, oh, it being too big or too small, but this stand like feels like it was made for G1 Monster High. So that's the only reason why I'm pointing it out. I just, if I was Mattel, I would want to get a stand that doesn't do that. Now I, now it's a little bit better because I do want to display her with a stand. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope if you were considering getting this doll, this review was helpful. And if you weren't, I hope that it was just fun to watch and see what kind of dolls, you know, I'm interested in too. And just see my mermaidy vibe. Um, anyway, bye guys. Thank you so much.